hey guys welcome back to our channel it has been a while since we've been anywhere if you're new here normally we go on like disney holidays but obviously we've been stuck in england for the last what 16 months now but today we are going on the maiden voyage of the msc virtuosa from southampton we've just pulled up it started raining but we can see the ship so i'll turn it around and show you okay so here we are we're in the car park for the leisure center in southampton because we're a little bit early but look how big that ship is we're so excited it's been on the news this morning it's the first cruise to leave the uk in 15 in months. 15 months and we're on it which is crazy okay so as we said it's the first cruise ship to leave the uk in like 15 months so it's very exciting so we haven't been vaccinated msc are accepting vaccinated and non-vaccinated passengers because we haven't been vaccinated we had to do a covid test 72 hours before boarding we just did the nhs test the at home one which is fine you have to print a copy of your results or you can show the text message or the email when you get to the port um, and then when we get to the port we'll have another covid test and then we'll have to wait about 30 minutes for the results to get on so we're gonna wait here we can arrive at the car park 30 minutes before our boarding time our boarding time is 1 40 so we'll get there for 1 40 go and check in have a covid test and it said we'll probably be on board within like an hour so we booked the car park as well through abp parking and then you get given your ticket that you just put in your windscreen and it'll let us out on monday so make sure you bring this and yeah we're just gonna wait now wait to get on board i think the first group of people getting on board are getting on now it's quarter past 12 so we're in the third boarding group so there was 11 o'clock there was about half 12 and 22 so we're in the third one we're very excited but i hope it stops raining before we get on oh it started raining quite bad now hopefully it'll stop i don't know if you can hear the rain and the wind but hopefully it'll stop before we get on sounds lovely and here's bex hi she did drive down but then I she did. got a bit scared when we got to southampton so we swapped <laughs> over <laughs> the lanes were very confusing <laughs> but it's okay we're here now and we'll hopefully as long as we don't test positive be on that ship in a couple of hours okay so we're now in the port and um, we have just had our covid test so we're waiting for the results it wasn't too bad it, they no. just they just did the nose one. It was nowhere near. If, I don't know for anyone else, but I do the lateral flow at home NHS ones, and I seem to have a worse reaction than what I did there. Yeah. I thought it was straightforward. It was over within like what? Five it was seconds? really quick. And then we went through check in, and with, they gave us a waiting number. So we had to come and sit in area number 24 and wait for our results. And at check in, they gave us the MSC band, which you have to wear, which um, is for safety. I think they track in case you come in contact with anyone that tests positive. Captain and then you. we got given our cards. I got a gold one because MSC do status matching and I'm gold on Disney Cruise Line. So they have status matched me to gold. So I got a little gold card that I think Bex's is just plain. What have you got? Oh. Mine's not as fancy, oh, but that's perfect. okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're just waiting to get on now and then we will show you around the ship. Okay, so we just looked at our uh, cruise cards a bit more closely and it says that our restaurant that we've been assigned to is the Blue Danube <laughs> on deck five. And then we prepaid for the internet. So I'm wondering if that's what the internet ID is. And we do the, um, the mustard drill on because a TV. Of, yeah, because of COVID, you, it's just a video you can watch in your rooms. But our assembly station is F if we ever needed to go to it. Okay, so we've just been waiting here. Someone just came around and gave us a pin. It says MSC Virtuosa Maiden Voyage, which is really cute. And we were just gonna say in this part of the port, like as you can see, the social distancing is really good and it tells you where to sit, like seats not in use. So we're just sitting on a row of four, even though there's just two of us. But the rest of the port, the social distancing's not been great. Like everyone's kind of you queue up next queue to each up other. really close yeah, together. Not enough distance, in my opinion. Yeah, it has been quite yeah. dark. <laughs> we got any camera, and we don't completely know how to use it yet. 
just bear with us. <laughs> okay, so the whole process of like coming to the port and everything's been really straightforward, but it's it's quite a long process. We've been here for about, hang on, let me look at my watch. About an hour and a half, we're not quite on yet. So you get here, you queue up, you um, give them your insurance details, so make sure you bring them with you, make sure you've got COVID cover because they are checking. Then you drop your luggage off, come through, get into another line for security, go to the x-ray machine, then get in another queue for your COVID test. Have your COVID test done, then get in another queue to check in, and then come, you get given your boarding number and you come and sit down, wait for your results, and then everyone in that boarding group boards together. So it's been about an hour and a half since we got here, so we're hoping that we'll be on soon. We There's one boarding number before us now, and then we'll be on. So. We're getting excited now. This is the pin that they've just given us. So it says MSC Virtuosa Maiden Voyage. And I think they're actually classing like the first four voyages as a maiden voyage. So they might be giving these out again. We are getting on the ship. They called our number and we didn't hear. Really quickly after we said. They didn't, I swear they didn't even call 23. They must have called 23 and 24 together. Yeah, we just didn't realize. So we're now just walking in. So excited. Get on a new ship. Like, it is, isn't it? Go somewhere different from my house. I oh, know. Tell me about it. All to the ship. That is the sign that we have been waiting to see. Have a great cruise. I hope we do. We will. Oh my god. We're getting on. This feels very surreal. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> so just sanitized our backpack. So that's good. I know that they're sanitizing all the luggage when people get on. Apart from the queue, they do seem very on top of it. So, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> it does seem good so far. I'm so excited. Me too. Okay, we are on. Hi. Oh my god, this feels so weird. I can't believe it. Hello. <laughs> oh god, I was so. So oh, there's that bar with the oh. the Starship bar. This is crazy. I don't know where to start. Like. Look, there's the robot. Oh, my God. Oh, right. It's crazy. This is the inside. It's so nice, isn't it? I don't even know where to start. First, we need to find somewhere for a drink. No, first we need to find our room, and then oh. food, and then drink. I don't know. We, I think we could fit a drink in somewhere. <laughs> Look at this ship. Oh my god. This is so nice. Right, they've given us free drinks. Complimentary drinks. Bex has got the alcohol, I've got the non-alcohol. Cheers. Hi. I'm sorry. Cheers. I'm rude. <laughs> Walker. We don't even know what deck we're on right we now. We have no idea about anything. Like, even in four days, I don't think we're going to have an idea. So. No. So there's a bar there. Oh. That's lovely. Is it? Oh my god, is that a crepe Yes, place? it is. No way. Um, I did some research, I watched some vlogs. Yes. Apparently, they have another shop where they do hot chocolate and the guy said it's the best hot chocolate he's ever had. No way. So I need to try that. It's literally, there's a chocolate shop of it somewhere. Okay, there's a taco restaurant there. Oh, is this that chocolate bar, Bex? Yes, it is, yeah. Okay, that it's sounds incredible. good. Choose your chocolate, select your topping, and design a souvenir. I think we might do that. Have to do that. Another bar over there. There's, I think, there is a... Hi. There's 10, 10 restaurants. Yeah. And 21 bars. Nice. And 19 decks, so what? A bar a deck? Yes. I don't even know how we're going to find most of the we're stuff. We're not. We're never going to do this all in four days. And Beck said that on the ceiling they play like, they like different think, videos and shows and stuff. Yeah, it's like a mini show, so it looks really impressive. Really impressive. Nice. Okay, so we're going to get a lift up. You need to select the deck from the outside. We don't even know where we're going. Do you want to go get food? Do you want to go to the room? Let's go, wanna... think, let's go to the room first. Let's go to the room. Okay, press 11 then. Elevator F. Is that? Over here. Okay, here we go. Elevator F. 
heading up to our room. So it's maximum four people and it's basically spotted out in the corners. So four people per lift. This is like one of the <laughs> one of the fanciest lifts of, I think I've ever been in. I know. <laughs> well this is fancy when you get off the lift. And we've got no idea how to get to our room. We're just gonna walk around a little we'll bit. We'll just find one. Oh, there's one one oh seven two. No. Nope. That's not us. It's too big, we've got no idea where we're going. Oh. Yeah. No. No. I'm so Hang on. <laughs> So we're an even cabin. Yeah. Okay, so it is this way. Oh, my bad. I didn't see that, it was three ones. And I think it must be down there. Oh. Okay, we finally found our room. <laughs> it's so confusing. There's like corridors and then like a corridor off a corridor and we're down that corridor. But anyway, we have found it. It's room 11176 on deck 11. So let me show you around. So here is our room. Let ourselves in. There is Bex. All the lights went off. Put your key in there to keep the lights on. Luckily our luggage got here already, like really quick. It said that it might not be here until six. So that's not so bad. You come in, there's like a little temperature thing on the room, on the wall. Then the bathroom, which is fairly big, I think, for a cruise bathroom pretty nice as well so that's that and then you come into the main bit of the room it's you know the usual sort of size bex has been stressing because it was she couldn't find the hairdryer and there it is so no need to be stressy anymore yeah but got a nice little, nice little getting ready area and a quite a big wardrobe to be fair and then also a tv there is a mini bar yeah, but you'll have to pay you, for you that. You have to pay, but it comes pretty well stocked. You've got spirits, beers, all your soft drinks, water, and then a couple of snacks, and then they give, they do give you a price, and it is, I mean, nine pounds for vodka. Yeah, that's quite a lot. We're probably not gonna eat anything from that. I mean, mainly because a lot of our drinks are included, so. But overall, the room's really nice, but we're gonna go find somewhere to have some food now uh, i think we're going to go up to the buffet so we're going to head to the marketplace buffet on deck 15 for some lunch it's open at half 11 till 4 45 if you don't hurry up then we're going to be not very hungry for dinner because we've got early seating but she keeps messing around come on let's go right we don't even know where the lifts are we can't remember we don't know how to get <laughs> so we don't know where the closest lifts are we don't know anything so we're just trying to find one so we can go get some food <laughs> this is literally so, honestly nice. this is such a mate it's like we've never been on a ship with this many corridors off corridors off corridors but i'm sure we'll find it oh blurry they have these handy maps everywhere so for people like us who've got absolutely no idea where we're going, we can just check those. And um, we are going to deck 15, lift C. That one. Which is over here. Oh, that was really quick. it was really quick. Luckily there's no one else four. on it. And here you go, four people in the lift. So we're at the complete wrong end of the ship. Classic. So we are heading out by the tropical pool. And hopefully, Oh my god. Oh. How no. nice is this? Oh my god. Nice and oh undercover. Oh, but well now I think we gotta go swimming. I know, we weren't sure about swimming, but now I feel like we massive, might have to. Massive hot tubs. I know. Okay, so we've come oh. out. Oh wow, look at that rain. There's the classic outside. This is, uh, yeah, very windy, very rainy. But that pool would be so nice in the sun. Look how nice that is. Honestly. And then we're just walking down to the Marketplace Buffet. Hello. Hi. Got a view of a cloudy and rainy Southampton. I mean, it might be visual outside, but it's one hell of a nice ship. It's so nice. Imagine sitting down there when it's not raining. Oh, it's so windy. 
There's a press crew over there. Oh, there's so many news because crews. It's the maiden, maiden voyage. Maiden voyage, yeah. There's yeah, there's loads of news crews everywhere because, especially because it's the first ship out in 15 months in the UK. Beck saw someone from BBC oh, News in the queue earlier to get on board. We were queuing. And I noticed he's the travel correspondent for BBC News, so... Did you say his name was Simon something? Simon, I can't remember his last name. So we might see a lot of news people on board. Yeah. Okay, I think we found it. It's just regular marketplace, not the family one. And it says lunch is open. 11.30 to 4.45. Right, so we are in the buffet. Look at those slices of pizza. Oh, I might have to have one of them. What are you feeling? Hello. Hi. What, what are you going to get? Oh, sorry. Thank you. This is the soup and pasta station. Hi. And then there's some salads. Won't be participating much in the salads, I'm afraid. And the rotisserie. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, my favourite, the bread stand. <laughs> so much bread. And then finally, world cuisine and desserts. Oh, whatever this is, smells amazing. We both just got a slice of pizza because it's quite late in the day now and we've got dining, yeah. early dining, but the food looks so good that madras smelled amazing. Um, and then something you should know is when you come into the marketplace buffet, they make you wash your hands and they did do a temperature check. Now all your temperature checks link back to your wristwatch. Yeah, so. and then when you're in here, there's chairs that have like signs on them for no one to sit on so that it should be properly distanced. We've just connected our internet package and logged into the app and there was a restaurant that we really wanted to go to, the Teppanyaki restaurant. So we have just booked it using this restaurant section. Found the one we wanted to go to which was the Teppanyaki and we booked it for tomorrow lunchtime. So it was really easy. There is a few more restaurants, but we haven't really looked at it yet, so we might book that. Right, so we found the Virtual Games Arcade. Bex loves an arcade. So this is on deck 16, just above the Marketplace Buffet. It's quite big actually, considering. Normally the arcades are quite small on cruise ships, but they have quite a lot of games. We just want to see what the casino looks like more than anything. Tells you what side to walk on. We're always walking on the wrong side. So this is the Formula One simulator. You got bowling over as well. I can't bowl with these nails on. But I can go in the Formula One simulator. That's the actual sports bar. Bex was looking at the sports bar because she saw that they had a menu with mozzarella sticks on. Well, no. We think, but I'm, I'm not so convinced now. Never know. We'll have to come back. I'm gonna walk around the other side of the sports bar. Hello. Hi. Basketball machine over here. And air hockey. And what is this? It's a VR game. Pretty cool. Oh, I don't know what this is, but this looks That's pretty a cool. Arena. VR Arena. You can select the game that you want to play. I think you have to pay for this. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure how much it is. Oh my god, they're literally. That's insane. All the guidelines and then I bowling. Really want to do bowling. We can do bowling. I'll just throw it like a child. You throw it like a child anyway. <laughs> Some fighting words for someone who always loses at bowling. She likes. I don't. So two lanes of bowling. I really want to do the Formula One simulator, even though I think Formula One's really boring. I think the simulator it's would be really fun. Ignore her. I wonder how much it costs. We're definitely going to do this at some point during the trip, so we'll pop the video in as well. 
<gasps> what is this? Interactive cinema. Oh, I want to do this, Bex. Yeah. That looks really fun. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, where are we going to go next? I don't know. I'm trying to have a look. Just where was that salon? Seven. Was it on seven? Nail salon, barbershop, hair salon. Oh. We've got no idea where to head next, TV but I think studio TV bar. studio and bar. I reckon we should go there next. That looks pretty cool. Sushi bar, I love sushi. And there's the teppanyaki that we're going to tomorrow. We're booked in, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. So these are, I think these are all your speciality restaurants. Yeah, they are. Which you can book on the app really easily. Right, we're gonna go down to deck seven and have a little explore. Okay, so we've come out of the lifts on deck seven and here is the casino. I assume that we can't film in the casino because you normally can't. But that looks cool, we'll definitely be hitting this up at some point. We're just trying to figure out where we are. But then there's the champagne bar and we're going to walk through there in a minute. Hello! Uh -oh. <laughs> it's okay, I kind of know where we are. I don't. Because there's the casino. Oh, shit. And that's at the back of the ship. Okay. And then we can walk through here to the champagne bar if you want. Sure. The views on this ship are so nice. It doesn't even look like a ship once you're in here. Don't you think it looks like a shopping centre? Yeah. Looks like a really fun shop to do. Oh, I don't like looking over the edge of this. I just can't believe that we're like one of the first people on this ship. Crazy. Even the stairs are like glittery and fancy. Never been on a ship like this before. We're back at the robot bar. Oh, okay. This is where we started earlier. Okay. Kind of know where we are then because we got on over there and we walked down there earlier so we haven't been down this bit yet this is the starship club bar and then he makes the drinks for you so it's got an estimated waiting time tells you what he's making he's getting ready to prepare someone called victoria's drink <laughs> Sure. Do you want to get a drink or do you want to come back? Come back. Come back. It's quite busy. It is, isn't it? Shall we see what's around here? Because we haven't been around here yet. Yeah. So I've got a feeling this might be our restaurant that we're coming to tonight. Or are we on six right No, we're on six right now. So this isn't our restaurant because we're on deck six and our restaurant's on deck five. But this is the Symphony restaurant. Looks very nice. And oh, that's there's so the much. Is that two different restaurants? Oh, maybe. We did not enough research before we got on this ship. It's a big ship. Looks really nice. Okay, so on deck six as well, you'll find the photo gallery if you have any pictures taken. Oh, they sell Instaxes. 50 quid. That's really good. Mine broke. And then if you keep walking around, there's the MSC shop, which we're hoping that we can go in later. Because I need a lanyard. I always get a lanyard when we go on a cruise to carry my key around. And I am actually quite tempted by this top. It's really nice. So we're now walking around deck four and we found the restaurant that we've been assigned to, Blue Danube. It's behind us. So we will be coming here later so we can show you all the menus and everything. It's on deck five. Deck five, did I say deck four? Yeah. Well, this ship is so <laughs> big, I don't know where I'm going yet. <laughs> and we're not on here for very long, so I'm <laughs> hoping that we actually figure it out. And then we're just gonna walk back through deck four, because we're, no, yeah. Five, we're five. five. Oh my <laughs> five. goodness. Five. I've got no idea where I'm going. Right, so as you come out of the restaurant area, there is a bar over here, the infinity bar by the looks of it. 
and then this is where you find like guest services and the excursions desk as well not that we're going on any excursions because we're just going to stay on the boat but look this whole area is so nice and there's someone playing piano it just feels like a cruise now don't it feels like we're actually on one Right, we've come back to look at the menu at the Crepe Place and they look amazing. I think I definitely want to get one of these tomorrow. Maybe just a uh, sugar and lemon. But it looks so good. And the prices aren't that like, expensive either, really. And then they also do smoothies here. And you can do build your own smoothie. Bex has just said this ice cream looks good and I have to admit, I don't really like ice cream that much, but it does look really good. I'll show you quickly. It looks really good. Have to come back here at some point. We're just walking past the taco place again, and it actually looks so good. Build your own tortilla. Uh, pick your tortilla. Serve family style. All Vex. Homemade chips and salsa. I love me some chips and Only salsa. Only $1.99. That looks really good. We might have to come here at some point. I'm back up to deck seven because we got lost on deck seven before and have no idea where we are. We did. Oh, there's the spa. Hi. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's so nice. Ah, here we go. Here, TV studio bar. Masters of the Sea. I think Masters of the Sea. Well, that's like a like pub, a isn't it? Pub, yeah. So these look good. And then you can see back down there. And then the teppanyaki and stuff's around here somewhere. It must be further down. It must be. It's so nice. So our camera died right <laughs> as we go out. Classic this isn't the sports bar, it's the TV studio bar. <laughs> but these are the first cocktails of the trip. Mine's a mango trooper and Bex's is a mojito. It is. Oh, How's your drink? <laughs> it's really Sour. Sour, yeah, mine is a bit as well, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know if it's the. I'm trying to figure out there's something that's been added to this that isn't usually. Right, what were you saying? There's something in it that's not normally in it. I ordered a raspberry mojito, yeah, which is fine. That's one. fine. I, I don't mind that. I like mojitos. But I'm trying to. I, oh, sugar. Uh, sugar. Now that's what should go in mojitos, that's what America put in mojitos, but usually in the UK they don't put sugar in, and it's very me. Okay, so we're back at the room now, we've just got ready for dinner. Um, firstly, on the, on the sheet that they put in the room it says that we have any time dining, so we can go to our restaurant between 6 and 9, so we don't have to stick to, we did we did select early dining, which I think was half five, but I think they've put everyone on any time dining, so you can just turn up when suitable for you, because it's 20 to seven now, and we want to watch the ship sail away at seven and then go for dinner. So earlier we went to the bar, and then we came back to the room because it was time for the mustard drill. So we came back, we watched a video on the TV, and then we had to go to our mustard station, which was on deck six, I believe. We had mustard drill F, so we had to go down, oh I can't see myself very well on there. So we had to go down, we had to give them our cards, they tapped them, show that we attended. So that was pretty good because I hate going to the full on like muster drills that they do normally. So it worked out quite well that people were just going down, signing in, knew where they were going. So that's how they are doing the safety drills on board these cruises for now to keep them social distanced. It was really good. So like I said, we're getting ready to go for dinner. We're gonna pop up somewhere to watch the ship set sail, but I just thought I'd go through the daily program with you, which we found in our room earlier. So let me just turn this around. Right, they gave us a daily planner, which had all of these activities on, so you could go to the gym orientation. They always do those raffles when you get on board, and complimentary skin analysis, which I'm not gonna to go to, because last time I went to one, they basically said that as soon as you turn 25, you've got old skin, so I won't be going to that again. 
And then these are all the activities going on tonight. The show for tonight is this one. I'm not going to even attempt to say it. We're not going to go to that one tonight. Just don't really fancy it. But there's so much going on. And there's like a flower party tonight or something. A flower glory night. Which is like a 60s and 70s party. Um, and then here's all the information for the shops and the spa. The casino, this is all just stuff that's going on today. And then they also gave us another daily program which has like, you know, the weather, the sunset, which port, departure and all that kind of information, the highlights of today. We have temperature checks when we go into like restaurants and stuff, so that's cool. And then what else has it got in here? So it has all the opening hours for the food. So we went to the marketplace buffet earlier because we didn't board until about three-ish, half two, three-ish. And then we've got open seating from six to nine on deck five. Speciality dining. We've booked um, the teppanyaki, which I think we mentioned earlier, but we've now also booked the sushi bar because it looked really good. And then it has just like a list of locations because this ship is so big. Like how do we even get to deck 18 or 19? I haven't even seen that. And there's a Savannah ice cream bar on deck 19 which sounds good. And an ice cream bar on deck 15. Haven't found any of them yet. And then this is just like the location and the opening times of the spa and the kids club. And then let's see what's on the inside. Oh, so there's the, the flower party thing that's going on tonight. Karaoke in the studio bar. That sounds like it would be quite funny. But there's no way that we'd be getting up to do it. No way. Bit more information. And yeah, that's everything that they've given us so far. I think that they'll give us another one tonight for like what's going on tomorrow. But yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do after dinner. But we'll see. We'll see what's going on. So we've come up to the tropical bar on deck 15 to try and hopefully watch the sail away. We're not moving yet and it's gone seven, so I'm not sure. But I got a drink, a frozen cocktail. It was called a rock lobster. And it's like banana -y, I think. And I don't know, it just sounded really good. I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's so good. So it tastes like a hurricane wave on a carnival ship. That's really good. It's way oh, better than- favorite cocktail. It's literally my favorite. Yeah. Um, it's way better than the one I had earlier. The one I had earlier I didn't like at all. But all of these are included in our drinks package. Yeah, any cocktails up to 10. Up to 10 pounds, pounds. are included. So that was mine, that's so good. Ooh. Ooh, let's see what Bex has got. So I've got a strawberry daiquiri, which uh, you can't usually go wrong with, to be honest. Uh, but let's give it a go. That's a good strawberry daiquiri. Sometimes you find they make it too strong or it doesn't actually taste like strawberry. Um, but that's nice, like, oh, I don't know. I feel like we just <laughs> might have felt the ship move, but we don't seem to be moving. But yes, uh, those two cocktails are winners. All right, we're starting to set sail away from Southampton. It's not anything pretty to look at, is it? <laughs> Got a nice big view of the IKEA, but oh, we're moving! So excited! like how bad 2020 and 2021 has been for everybody but finally we can travel again and the captain did a little speech as we were pulling out just saying like welcome back on board and that's like the safest way to travel right now and it's just it feels so weird being on board it feels really weird vlogging like people keep looking at us but it's okay we're very <laughs> we're just excited to be here 
and like experience everything. Even if no one watches this, it doesn't even matter. Okay. So we're now heading down. Oh no, I think the lift. Oh yeah. No, you just have to press. Okay, it. we're going down to deck five for dinner. Lift day. I hope there's no one in there while we're vlogging. We there isn't. I'm excited to see what's on the menu because we haven't been able to view the menu prior. So yeah. Hopefully there's something we will eat. Mainly because I'm a bit fussy. I just really want steak. I steak. really want steak. It we'll show you the menu. Steak. We'll show you the menu when we get there. Right, we're last. We've come out of the lift. No idea where we are. We are. Okay. And the restaurant is here. So how do we get to there? Because it's all state rooms. Should we just cut through the state rooms? Uh, we might go down there. Or we could go up one. Up and across. Uh, where are we? Five. Up. Cut through the gallery. Yeah. And then go down by yeah, the starship. Maybe we should do that. Yes. Yeah, so then we're not walking past people's rooms. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Up this the way. stairs, sorry, we're gonna have to go up the stairs. We're at dinner now, and then you get these little things on the table, and you scan the barcode on your phone, just on your camera, and the menu comes up. So, here is today's menu. Let me focus that. Okay, so I'm just gonna have the grilled chicken breast, I think, because we already ate like pizza and stuff earlier, so I'm not that hungry. Bex is going to have the pasta, the seafood sauce yep. pasta, which looks good. Someone else was eating it and it looked pretty good. So that's the full menu. Also, they came around with bread and bread is my favourite thing ever, so I've already eaten mine. So there's Bex's. There was four types of different bread that we could choose from and they had their breadsticks as well. And the bread, oh it's actually on the menu. <laughs> It's really hard to focus on a screen. So that's the different type of bread that's available today. I don't know if it'll be different every day or not, but I do like bread at dinner. Okay, here's my dinner that's just come out, which looks pretty good. And then Bex has got the seafood pasta. It smells amazing. Have a bite. It might be alright. Okay. Going in. Ooh. Ooh. That's a massive bit of pasta. Hopefully I don't feel my mouth. Mm -hmm. Is it good? That's a really good seafood sauce. Nice. Yeah. Right, so to activate your cruise card, you come to one of these at activation points. This one is outside the MSC shop. And we are on deck six, and there's quite a lot of these around, you know. Bex is just setting hers up. So I'm setting mine up as well, yeah. So this is so like you've got a card against your account, basically. Yeah. It's because everything is like contactless now. Yeah. So they don't really want you going up to the desk. So we spent 1380, but that's because we've just bought lanyards. Let right. me see your lanyard. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we always get lanyards. Mine. You can't really, you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hold it. So it's like, uh, oh, it's a bit blurry, but there we go. Hold it still. So it's like a retro style. It says virtuoso. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, we like to get a, um, a lanyard on every ship we tend to go on. If it's like a new ship. Yeah. So that's what this balance is. Because our cocktails are all included. So I assume we press card registration. <laughs> no idea. Insert your payment card. Okay, I'm not going to show you Bex putting her PIN number in, but that is what you do. Right, so it said that it's going to take a £250 deposit. That will be refunded at the end of the cruise. So that's always good to know. Don't use your debit card. Use a credit card. And it's all sorted. So it was nice and easy, we're now registered. We've just like linked it together and then we'll work out who spent what. We just went in the shop. It's got some, we'll go in the shop again and show you at some point. But it's got quite a lot of cute like virtuosa merch. So we'll go in there later in the trip and show you around. And now we're just gonna go to the other shops on this level. And then we're gonna go back up to the tap. So this one's the shopping gallery, it's got all like perfume and makeup, 
This looks like your typical duty free shop that you'd see at the airport. But we're not going in there for now because we're going to spend too much money if we do. Right, I don't really know where we're going to head now. Where are we going? Uh, I think we are just exploring. I mean, we've been through this area, but obviously it's yeah. night time, so it's kind of different now. But yeah, we're going to go up as well, to the, all the way to the top, because we haven't really explored too much up there yet. So I think we're going to go do that now. Right, we are yeah, back in. <laughs> we can feel it's feeling a bit rocky. Oh, we're in the tropical bar again. Just I think walking this through, is like, this little monkey. This has to be like my favourite kind this of This is my favourite area so far. I think it'd be nice to come and like use the hot tub and go in the pool and stuff. Oh, my hair's looking a bit messy now after being <laughs> out here all day. Oh, they got slushies over there. Might have to have a slush. I didn't tell you that. We're on the hunt for the ice cream place. The ice cream place is on this deck and it's near the atmosphere pool, which is the one that's like not undercover. So we haven't spent any time down there. Oh, that's not. <laughs> Don't have to pull that door, it's automatic. Right, I'm going to show you out here quickly. So this is the atmosphere pool. There's the back of the ship. Like imagine if it was nice weather, sitting out here, watching a movie, on these little like lounges. It'd be so nice, but no, it's raining and cold. But we're on the hunt for ice cream and I think it's that way. Okay, we found it. It's not open, but there's the glorious ice cream machines. Out of focus, but we'll come back tomorrow. So we've just discovered that these little screens, if you scan your card down here, you can't really see because it's a bit dark, you can, oh, focus, check out the menus for your restaurant. So you tap there, and then you, got and then you tap here. menu. And we've just discovered it comes up with the menus for the whole trip. Which is a game changer. Which is actually our favourite thing in the world. Because so we can now plan out all our meals. Yeah. So if we look at tomorrow. You're just going to look at dinner. Oh. oh, it comes up with breakfast and oh, pancakes. Uh, Belgian waffles. Waffles. Cinnamon toast sounds good as our. Scrambled eggs. eggs. Eggs Benedict, which obviously is a fan favourite for most people. Yeah. And you got, oh, there's three options for... Wow. seafood for breakfast okay so that's your breakfast that's a pretty good menu yeah that is quite impressive lunch see lunch we're going to um yeah we have the teppanyaki anyway but so, i'm not gonna lie i kind of don't want to see anything nice because of that it's gonna scan down it quickly yeah pretty good and then dinner come on oh. dinner have a good dinner dinner oh it's Ooh, elegant, elegant night. night okay okay we'll go through the oh, starters beef first you. i love that Caesar salad. I bet that Caesar salad is. Yeah, I bet it's out. really good. No. Short rib ravioli. That sounds good. That sounds delish. Surf and turf. Oh, surf and turf all the way. With crushed bacon. Dork a la orange. Yeah, I do love a bit of dirt. So now that's it. Oh. Yeah, but you can have lobster tail with surf and Hello, turf. Hello, crushed bacon potatoes. Oh, it's very. It's <laughs> a little bit. Uh, Even the. Roasted herb crusted beef filet is probably going to be really nice. That sounds really good. And then this part of the menu is the always available thing. So that's what I had tonight and it was really good. Oh, I didn't have asparagus. Oh, no. mine came just with vegetables. I didn't have chips or anything with mine. Um, and then the desserts. The desserts which, again, like the desserts tonight, I can't say they were... They weren't the best. They weren't great. Okay, so okay, if so, I press next, will that automatically yeah, maybe. today? No. No, okay, so okay, back. So tomorrow <laughs> the good. ship is proper. Like tomorrow we absolutely need to be hungry. Yeah. Here. See I think breakfast so, is breakfast gonna be the same be every the same. day. Well it's a little bit different. I don't think they were on it, maybe? Oh yeah, maybe. Okay. I'm uh, not sure. Lunch Lunch again, we're going to the um sushi. Oh, but that sounds amazing. Like With sweet and sour sauce. Barbecue and oh, maybe we're going to have to move the sushi to the next day. Okay. Steak and kidney pie. I love a steak and kidney pie. They always have apple crumble for lunch, but never for Okay, so that's never for dinner. There's a nice lunch menu. Dinner. Okay. Oh, Mediterranean <gasps> night. Calamari. Are you? <laughs> Spanish tapas. 
That is pretty good. Moussaka. I've never tried that. Oh, okay. Spanish seafood paella. Yeah, you're definitely going to have that. Although, yeah. under that, mixed seafood grill. That I sounds mean, pretty good. That sounds nice as I well. I know, I was just looking that at that. That sounds really good. And again, the always available. So that is Saturday's menu. Right, let's look at Sunday's. Okay. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. So again, breakfast looks exactly pretty the, same. Much the same. Lunch. See, we haven't got lunch planned this day, so we you just don't. know it's going to be rubbish. It's not. But we do like the buffet. Yeah, I mean, again, we Can't haven't go really wrong. attacked it yet, have we? So, okay, so dinner. Okay, oh, see if we've got This, this menu is like made for you. It's my fave. Cannelloni. Indian that is what chicken. I'm gonna have. I love oh, Indian. Why? Oh, Papadam. Cannelloni, though. I love cannelloni. Honey glazed ham sounds pretty good as well. So I think the only. Yeah, actually, that does sound really good. The only thing that's letting it down, in my opinion, is the desserts. The it's desserts not, this night sounds quite good because sticky toffee sticky pudding. Sticky toffee pudding, yeah, that sounds pretty and good. And chocolate duo cake, dark yeah, and white cream. But then for me, it depends how much dark chocolate there is so yeah we just discovered this so we thought we'd show you so you can check what's on every single night so we've come back to our favorite part of the ship which is the tropical bar and we've just come upstairs and that's where they've got what do we call this yeah. i feel foosball but that's because it's american and i watch friends of that yeah, I was going to call it the same, so that probably doesn't count. There is an English name for it. Table like a football. Table football doesn't sound right, but we know what we mean. And then over here, table tennis, which we always attempt on a cruise, and we're always terrible at. We always send the ball flying, so we're not going to do that. No. And then I think these must just be like little hot tubs up here. Yeah, so they've got, it looks like just in this area, they've got four hot tubs. Yeah, it is really nice. We have to come and use all this because I, like we say, this bit's all undercover and heated. Whereas the rest of the ship, the other pools are outdoors. like to try the cocktails from Rob, our robotic bartender. Also, you can create your own cocktails. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. So, what if you want do? to create your own cocktails, the maximum spirits, you can put three shots of spirits. <laughs> okay. okay. And some liquor juices, yeah. sodas. Okay, cool. If you want to see the drink list from Rob, we have 12 cocktails Ooh, with alcohol. They sound good. And four cocktails with non-alcohol. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you like the look of? What do you like the look of? That one. That one? Yeah. Shall we select? It's 18 pounds. It's 18 pounds, yeah? One of those, yeah? Is there anything you want? Uh, we'll just get this one for just now. Just one thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So proceed to check out and tap your card. Okay. So we tap our card down here. All right. It's processing. So the transaction is done. Okay. Okay. So you will see now over there, the Rob will start to prepare in your order. Ooh, let's go watch that. You want to see the Rob, how he's making the coffee? Yeah. So Rob's making our drink now. Please can you tap your car in the platform number one? Okay, thank and then you. Your drink will come to you. Oh wow, thank you. So we tap our card over here. And then it brings the drink over to us. Okay, so the drink comes in this like oh little focus, it comes in this little star ship 
club glass and she gets to keep the glass as well. Yeah, they give you a little, give you a little box. box to put it in. And also, look at how cute. Oh, it's Rob. It's cute. Oh, we love Rob. <laughs> you want to try your cocktail? Yeah. These drinks are significantly more expensive they than the are, other ones. So these aren't free. Yeah, so but, you, um, how many times can you say robots we need to try? I know. So this was eighteen pound, and we only get drinks included up to ten pounds. Yeah. So. And this has a was it vodka, raspberry, and lemon? I think. Yeah. So, um, Really good. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are heading back to our room now. Bex is feeling a bit, a bit seasick. It is rather it's not too bad, but it's got a little bit motiony, shall we say? Yeah, it's a bit bumpy, which uh, she doesn't appreciate me saying is relaxing. I do. <laughs> I love like this is going to sound really weird, like lying in bed on the ship and just being able to like feel it move. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it, so I think it's relaxing. I don't know if we're going the right way. Yeah, it says straight on. We're, we're so lost. The ship is We came a different way, that's why. Oh, this way's actually This easier. is quicker. Okay, we're almost back at our room. That and then so we're just going. Here is our room. I think I tried to get in someone else's room earlier. You did. Which, was, did. <laughs> which was quite bad. But yes, we are back. And we got no lights. <laughs> okay. We are back in the room. Oh, mask gets stuck to all of these persons. It's not good. And he is our stateroom host has put tomorrow's schedule in. So we're gonna go through that and we'll we'll show you what's going on tomorrow. All right, so here is the daily program for tomorrow. Not loving that um, maximum 13 degrees, but <laughs> uh, tomorrow is elegant night. So put on our fancy outfits. Fancy. So tomorrow there's a show on all day, the D the Dome Show. What? Don't know what that will be, but the, maybe dome, the show. dome Show. It's on all day. Okay. Captain's doing a little speech. Entertainment highlights. The third show is Abracadabra. We're so not going to go and watch any of these shows, are we? We only watch the shows on Disney because they're I Disney mean, ones. We'll see when we're Even on Carnival, we didn't watch any of them really. Yeah. I think we watched one, wasn't it like um, a music over the years? Yeah, we did to be fair. Okay, so breakfast opens at 6.30 in the buffet. And we can also go to the restaurant, but we probably won't do that. Again, open dinner seating 6 till 9. We'll probably go a bit later tomorrow because we are going to the teppanyaki, which we're very excited about. All of this, this is all just the times of everything, very similar to today. And here is all the activities happening tomorrow. Oh, we can get up and go for sunrise stretch class. That sounds wonderful. Aerobics, yoga. Where's the stuff for lazy people? Oh, trivia. We trivia. do like a bit of trivia. There's a DJ out on the horizon pool tomorrow afternoon. Good luck to him if it's as windy as it is today. <laughs> Visual trivia, fit dance, we could go fit dance, okay and then at night all the different bars and stuff, uh, yeah and um, karaoke again we heard some wonderful, we were, yeah some interesting karaoke going on tonight, pub trivia and that's pretty much it, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, we're going to make a little plan, but that's what's going on tomorrow. Okay, so that is the end of today. I'm not sure if we're gonna upload these as like individual day videos or if we're just gonna do one long cruise video. So if this is the end of the vlog, please check out the next day's vlog. And if not, day two's coming up now.